Hey there, welcome back. We're going to be discussing medications, purposes, and mechanisms again in this third installment. We're going to be talking about adenosine A2A antagonists. What did you say? What did you say? Wow, that was a mouthful. But I'm going to explain what that means and what medications are out there for that purpose. Take a deep breath. And let's go. Welcome to the Parkinson's Disease Education Show, where we demystify the disease and empower you as the person with Parkinson's disease to reach your true potential. The content contained on this show is for informational purposes only and is not meant to be a replacement for information or advice that you receive from your in-person medical or therapy professionals. If you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing and for an even more personalized experience, please ask us about our memberships. Now, without further ado, let's start the show. So it's going to take me a second to explain this one. There's only one medication on this list, and it's hard to pronounce. So I'm just going to give you the, the brand name of this medication, and then I'm going to go into what adenosine A2A antagonist medications do and why that's important or could be important in Parkinson's disease. So the one medication, the sole medication uh, that is in this category is Nurians. You may be familiar with that name or you may not be. Nurians is an A2A, or excuse me, an adenosine A2A antagonist. So let's get into some brain science and explain a little bit about what A2A, adenosine A2A antagonist, what all that means. So when you take dopamine, levodopa or whatever form of dopamine it is, there are receptors in the basal ganglia that absorb that dopamine. There are also adenosine A2A receptors and essentially they're right next to each other in that area of the brain. What neuroscientists figure out is that by blocking the effect of A2A receptors, you can also enhance the levels of dopamine that, that remain in the brain. Again, the bridging the gap theme is what we're seeing here, just with a completely different mechanism in a completely different area of the body or the, or the brain. So the adenosine A2A receptors being blocked, again, that can help to keep those levels of dopamine being absorbed in that area a little bit higher because those adenosine A2A receptors can also essentially result in more absorption of dopamine than is desired. So because the adenosine A2A antagonists don't directly affect the dopamine receptors, they may be able to reduce off times. Again, as we said a minute ago, it's another way to bridge the gap. So according to parkinson.org, the reduction in off times can be up to 30 to 60 minutes per day. It is said these particular class of drugs don't worsen dyskinesia, although, disclaimer, dyskinesia can still be a side effect. If reduction in off time is going to happen taking Nurians, it's said to have happened within about four weeks. Now we mentioned dyskinesia as a possible side effect. You can also have insomnia, again, hallucinations can also be a part of it, and then you can have dizziness as another common side effect. Nurians is never taken by itself. It's usually a combination drug with levodopa or carbidopa levodopa. That's all I've got to say about adenosine A2A antagonist. I always forget the adenosine part in front of the A2A part. Um, or Nurians, which is the only medication on the market for this in this class. But um, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about this. If you or a loved one with Parkinson's have taken this and what your effect has been, positive, negative, neutral, either way, love to hear. Again, if you're only listening to this on audio, you won't be able to leave that such, such a comment like that. But um, I would love to hear your feedback either way. Hopefully a, a review on uh, your pod, favorite podcast app. That would be very welcome, especially if it's five stars. So if you're watching on YouTube, I'd love to hear your comments about your experiences with taking Nurians if you have uh, or your loved one with Parkinson's disease and what the effect has been, positive, negative, neutral, what have you. Again, just a quick disclaimer, I've said this on other videos uh, prior to this, but if you have side effects or you experience um, side effects that are untenable, 
please do let your movement disorder specialist or your neurologist know so that they can make adjustments as appropriate. Thanks again for watching. Look forward to the next installment and I will see you there. Be empowered.